So I own primarily all Makita tools and batteries, but I found this Milwaukee 18 gauge brad nailer at a sale at Home Depot and I couldn't resist. The price was right and I heard really good things about this. And the only thing setting me back was getting onto another tool battery platform. So last night I quickly made this up. What this is is a battery adapter that goes onto Milwaukee tools and you could use Makita batteries. And as you can see, the tool works just fine. So the adapter is actually two pieces, one down here and one up here. I didn't design either of these, but I did modify them. And I'll show you how I did it. So this is a rough prototype. So everything looks a little bit rough. So I'm gonna, now that I know this works, I'm gonna go back and refine the design and it should be much better. But anyway, if you take a look at the tool, there's four pins here. Here's the four slots so that physically it can fit. In order for the adapter to work, you only need three outputs from the battery. So this one's the positive, that one's called J2, and that's the negative. So obviously the positive from the Makita goes straight into the positive of the Milwaukee. Negative goes straight to negative. That's not all because I first did it that way and the tool would turn on, but it wouldn't actually function. So I dug in a little bit deeper and it turns out you need this third pin. On a real Milwaukee battery, this third pin will communicate with the tool and it monitors the temperature of the battery. So if it overheats, it will not let the tool work. So in order to replicate it, what you need is a resistor. So this is what's inside. So as you can see, the positive and the negative go straight in to the respective terminals. And if you look closely in there, there's a poorly soldered in resistor right there. And that resistor is between positive and this terminal here called J2. And that was the missing link in order for this adapter to power on the Milwaukee tool with a different manufacturer's battery. I should add that if you plan on making an adapter like this, you lose all the benefits and protection from using a genuine Milwaukee battery on this brad nailer or any Milwaukee tool. The resistor I added to this only tricks the tool into thinking that the battery is at room temperature, no matter what, even if the battery does overheat. So you lose out on that function. Also, the adapter doesn't provide any low voltage cutoff. So if you don't monitor your battery levels, then you have the potential of running your battery pack low. And with lithium ion batteries, if you get it below a certain level, you will damage the battery permanently. The good thing about Makita batteries that Milwaukee and DeWalt don't offer is an internal uh, voltage cutoff in the battery itself. I find that the voltage cutoff on this is below, I think it's about, it's about 16 and a half volts. I, in my opinion, that's a little bit too low. So when I use my Makita batteries on other tools, such as my Ryobi brad nailer, I make sure I don't overdrain my Makita batteries. 
So that's another protective feature you lose by using one of these adapters. So keep those in mind. You have the potential of ruining your batteries and tools. But with that said, I've been using battery adapters for years now, especially on my Ryobi tools, and I've had no problem. But I am diligent of um, monitor, monitoring my voltages. So other than that, I'll show you how the adapter fits in. This is my first test piece I made. I didn't end up continuing further with it, but um, the fit and the locking mechanism has remained the same on my final prototype. So I'll just show you how this works. It just goes in, it locks in, can't pull this out unless you squeeze these and it comes out. I printed this with PETG, so it's nice and flexible and durable. And as far as the Nikita side goes in, This slides in, it has a nice click. Tolerances are perfect. Just push this and the, the battery slides off. And then for the terminals, these are called double leaf spring contacts. I can't find them anywhere. So I, I have to make my own. So I use these welding contact strips for 18650 batteries. Cut a little bit off and I just took a feeler gauge to get my appropriate thickness. And I just folded it. And made like a U shape. And then just took a small screwdriver to fold where necessary. So I would get something like that. And I would trim off the excess. And if I had this taken apart from the bottom side, I would slide this up there. And that's how I got these. If you have any other questions about this adapter, please let me know. Thanks for watching.